What's up guys, bringing you my first ever gameplay of Armor Jet. I managed to get access to the beta. I guess it's not out yet and I do not know a single thing about this game. Uh, I've heard a, a good amount of talk about it and I've seen some other people play it. Uh, pretty uh, nice voice when you log in here but I guess once you open that for the first time you just choose a name like you saw me do and I said you know be careful you can only do it once. Um, you know, just scroll through the menu here, see what's going on. You know, first impression is that there's a lot going on in this game. Um, maybe that account ID is supposed to be private. <laughs> I might have to blur that out, but I'll probably forget to do it. Um, but anyways, you know, after playing, I don't think that I will continue to play this game. But just wanted to post this video for you guys. Some of you out there might be interested in it. Doesn't look like it's my style, but... I'll give it a chance here. Let's see what we got going on here. Got like a profile picture icon. I guess they're calling them badges. That wolf looks pretty sick. I don't think I can actually equip it though. I can do that one. Twitch. <laughs> I guess that works. Follow me on Twitch at Gaming Lewis. You know the deal. Haven't live streamed yet, but I will live stream in the future. Just gotta get a, a good setup for that. See what we got. We got some packs, more crates. <laughs> All these games nowadays buying crates just to have a chance at something. But I don't even know like what <laughs> what you get out of crates or, or what you buy in this game. I guess guns. I guess you can unlock some of these guns here. Weapons. I guess maybe they're not all guns specifically. Looks like you got some different gadgets and perks. I guess. I got an EXO module. No idea what that is. And then we got the play menu. Looks like different game modes, that's nice. That's a good switch up from After Pulse, which I play all the time if you're new to this channel. You might want to check those out. My most posted game. Um, but I guess we're jumping into a battle here. Let's see, you move with the left stick, and anytime you tap with your right thumb, it starts shooting. Um, Alright, so I guess you just kind of shoot and aim at the same time. I guess I'm using like a, a full auto gun or something. You run pretty slow, but doesn't, you know, it looks like it, it fits well into the map, into the arena. Um, and I guess this is multiplayer, so I'm playing with these guys online here. And I guess you float up, you have a certain amount of like jetpack fuel. I'm not sure if Armin Jet, if that's where it gets the name from. I'm wearing a jetpack, everybody's wearing a jetpack. Um, and you got like a, a stamina bar for your jetpack, and I guess when that runs out, you can't go any higher. And a little circle above you is your reload, your ammo left, it looks like. Ooh, let's see if I can get this guy. Nope. <laughs> well, I haven't died yet. I'm not sure if this is good or not. <laughs> All the armor jet fans out there shooting me in the face right now. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Ooh, we got an assist, 25 points. So you got the score and a timer on top. I guess I'm the blue team since we're in blue. It seems straightforward enough. So I guess we're winning 13 to 11. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's better to keep moving or stand still because it's pretty hard to shoot people when you're sta or when you're moving around a lot, you know. Um, I'm sure. I mean, like any game, the more you play it, the more comfortable you're gonna get, right? I feel like this could go a lot different once you play the game a lot and and really get into it. Um, We'll, we'll try to get like 10 minutes of gameplay in here, see uh, what we can do. Um, let's see, I don't I don't think I've gotten a kill yet. Can we get one here? <laughs> just standing completely still, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, we just took a good hit there. Is that a teammate or an enemy? I think that's an enemy, but he's, yeah, that's an enemy. But he's got like a blue shield around him, that was a little confusing at first. Way up in the sky here. I guess you can't shoot through platforms, which is good. 
Oh, there we go. Got taken out by Krasik with the Long Claw. Let's see, we'll try out this gun, whatever it's called. A little blue perk or something. I got some sort of shield now going on. Literally no idea what I'm talking about. Maybe that's the Exo Shield or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this game. I don't know if any of my subscribers out there play it yet. Um, like I said, it, it's it, this is a beta. I'm not sure what the deal is exactly with that. Killed again. Wrecked. And apparently we spawned through some sort of drill. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, now we're shooting like a, a three blast little thing. Oh, we lost by three. That's because I died three times. <laughs> oh, I got two kills there. Three assists. New best. Kills, KD, top streak, medals, score. Got everything going on. So it looks like games are 3v3. Looks like there might be space for a fourth player in there, but not sure if, if it is 4v4 or 3v3. Um, seemed like enough action. Three versus three there. Let's see. Voted for Volcano Shield Rush. No idea what Shield Rush is. Just tapping around the menus here. I mean, like I said before, first impression is that, I mean, there's just way too much stuff going on in this, in this game. It's really overwhelming. Um, you know, I, I think it's good to... On one hand, it's good to, to throw people into a, a very involved game like this and, you know, give you full access to everything right off the bat. I mean, obviously, you have to unlock certain weapons and, and whatever, right? Oh, that was a good throw. Oh, we got a kill. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Some sort of grenade. It's weird. I don't even know, like, how to throw it. I just hit my fire button or something. Um... But, you know, it, it might also be interesting to lock out certain parts of the game and, uh, you know, like, like you have to level up or do, like, training to, to get to certain, you know, multiplayer modes or, you know, unlock certain menus because, I mean, it, the menu system just feels like there's way too much going on in this game. It's, it's a turnoff in my opinion. Um, but on the same hand, once you get into the game, it could be really nice to, you know, have a lot of things to keep you busy, keep you entertained, you know, keep you, you know, give you things to work towards, right? Um, it might make the game really engaging and, and keep bringing you back and give you motivation to, to keep playing and, and stay competitive, right? So, I don't know, it's kind of a, you know, a, a trade-off like anything else, right? Um, pretty simple there. Um, just a simple trade-off, but... I don't know. Overall, just just the the menu feels a little overwhelming, but just my opinion. Um, still don't have much of an idea what's going on in this game. Just got taken out by a thunderstorm. I think we'll try out this badger here. I guess the last one looks like a single shot grenade launcher type of thing. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to hit anyone with this thing. Um, but overall, I mean, gameplay feels very, it's just very, like, gamey, you know, like, like I, I've mentioned a couple times now, After Pulse, you know, it's, it's easy to compare to, because that's really the only game I'm playing right now, I mean, I, I do play Critical Ops, like, you know, maybe a match per day, if that, um, you know, and occasionally post videos on that, um, you know, my, my quote-unquote daily videos of Critical Ops, still working on those, um, but, I mean, I really only play After Pulse, so, you know, comparing it to that, I mean, After Pulse is 100% my type of game. You know, it's it's got the realistic graphics, and it, it just, I don't know, it, it doesn't, like, doesn't feel like a game. Like, I, like, playing After Pulse, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a gamer, if that makes sense. Like, you know, and of course, like, these words might mean different things to different people, so it's, it's hard to, to say, but, you know, playing this, I would... You know, I'd have to call myself a gamer, you know? Um, you know, not that there's anything wrong with, like, being a gamer, but... And obviously, like, I post gaming videos, obviously I am a gamer, but... I don't know, maybe some people out there get what I'm saying. I'm sure a lot of people are just confused as heck, but... This just feels very gamey, you know? Like, I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, 
I don't know, feels like a, a little more on the, on the nerdy side, if that makes sense. Um, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that or anything. It's just, it really doesn't feel like my style of game. Um, that said, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm having some fun in these matches here. Um, you know, I, I could see it being fun. I could see it, you know, getting not like addictive in a bad way, but, you know, addictive in the sense that you, you want to keep playing it. I could see it, you know, being a, being a great game. Um, so I don't know. I just thought it was cool that I, I got access to it, wanted to uh, try it out. I mean, don't expect videos of this in the future. You know, let me know in the comments below what you think. You know, if you enjoy videos like this, if you want to, you know, see me try out, you know, a lot of games, you know, I could try out, you know, every game on the App Store in theory, right? Um, or if you just want me to stick to, you know, the stuff that I know, like After Pulse and Critical Ops and, you know, whatever coming up, um, even some Pokemon go in there. But anyways, just, you know, wanted to post this video and uh, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe for more. And as always, I'll catch you on the next video.